Hey, my name is Eric, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of Camtasia versus ScreenFlow in 2020. Uh, making it because it's 2020 right now, at home, shelter in place, great times. But in this uh, blog post, this is really key to this review, and I'm going to try to make this a little quick for you. Uh, but uh, this is from TechSmith, who owns uh, that service. They make uh, Camtasia. And you can see somebody wrote Camtasia 2019 is slow and laggy. So I have been using ScreenFlow since 2013 to make screen recordings. Um, it works. Sometimes the tool is a little finicky, uh, buggy, but for the most part, it works. But it's really dull as far as the features. Like right now, I'll put on screen what the text on screen looks like. Uh, and then also the transitions. There's really only just one to choose from. I mean, it's really a dull like bare bones screen recording capture service where you can, you know, put annotations like maybe, you know, a call out where you put an arrow on screen and things like that. And Camtasia is way more robust. Uh, but the issue I have with Camtasia, and I can't always replicate this, I have trouble doing it. So I just added this media file and now I'm going to add uh, this one and let's see i'm going to add this one again and i'm just seeing if i can get this to to work and by work i mean like not work right so i'm gonna take these two files and then i'm gonna move them to the right and now i'm dragging them and i'm dropping all right and now i've let go and i am waiting for this to move those files uh, and for whatever reason, this gets real jammed up. And I understand that, you know, maybe I'm asking it to do too much, but I've had this happen when I just drop like one short 30 second file in and then I move it. And now if I try to do anything here, you can see the beach ball that's kind of running there. So it went away. I bet you if I move my mouse now, hands up, right? <laughs> if I move my mouse and try to click on something else, beach ball. And then if I try to move my mouse, beach ball. And now keep in mind, um, I'll try to scroll up, but those two files there on the top, I just moved them uh, about a minute ago and they still have not responded yet. So it, it's just really, really frustrating because when you compare these two tools outside of this little bit of slow laggy issue that I'm having with Camtasia, Camtasia blows screen flow out of the water. The text on screen looks better, the transitions are better, the animations are better, the callouts are better, uh, the functionality, the ease of use. It has these pre-made um, effects that you drop in where screen flow, you're kind of like having to do everything custom, which sounds nice, but it's really not. Um, I really love the uh, the visual aspect of Camtasia with the editing, but this, this little feature, <laughs> if you wanna call it a feature, drives me nuts and I wanna love this service. I really, really do. Uh, but I find this super frustrating. So what I'd recommend to you is that by the time you watch this video, they may have updated or patched Camtasia to fix this issue uh, that is being highlighted on this blog post. If you want to read some of the comments on here, um, I will link to this blog post in the description and pinned comment below. I will also have uh, links to download a free trial of ScreenFlow and Camtasia. What I would recommend in your situation is uh, get both of them, try them out, but um, do exactly what I just did. Record like three recordings on Camtasia, drop them into your timeline below, into your tracks, and then see if you can break it. Now, if it's not breaking, chances are they've updated it and patched it. And if they have and you're having no issues there, I would go with Camtasia all day long over ScreenFlow. The last thing worth mentioning too is ScreenFlow is only for Mac. Camtasia you can use for Mac or PC. Uh, and then one more thing I want to show you just because you might be wondering uh, if I can actually see it because Camtasia is just jamming up my computer so much. If I go to the about this Mac, uh, Mac Mini 2018, I actually just bought it though uh, about uh, two months ago. And I upgraded the RAM, 32 gigabytes, 3.2 gigahertz processor and uh, storage. You can see I'm, I'm fine there as well. And I'm highlighting this because you might be thinking like I, this is an old machine. Literally, I've only had this for two months. And uh, for whatever reason, Camtasia just jams up like this. So I'm going to go back to this and it looks like it is good now. But like I mentioned, that just took like, I don't know, three, four minutes for it to import that media and be able to uh, make adjustments. And I've had it sometimes where like, I'm not even importing media and all of a sudden it starts going. When it works, this is an awesome tool. So like I said, description below, I have links for ScreenFlow and Camtasia for the free trial download. Uh, really mess around with Camtasia first. Uh, see if you can break it. And if you can't, 
Uh, they've probably patched it and I'll, I'll do any updates or anything like that. I'll put in the description as well. Uh, but I appreciate you guys supporting my channel by using my links as well. Um, as that's what I'm doing full time now uh, with shelter in place in 2020. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, good luck and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.